All right, everybody, Mr. Quill Pig strikes again, this time with uh, Hatch. Poor guy has got into one. Now, if anybody's gonna get into one, we think it's him. He loves to, he loves to hunt. This dude's a hunter. So what we're gonna show you here is how we're gonna be able to work through this with him. Uh, we've got a couple different things. We're gonna try and put his, where's your jacket at, buddy? Should be middle, right middle shot. I'd say lay collar towards his neck, and then I uh, okay. right. try and hold him down. We're gonna start getting on these. If we cut the ends of them off, easy now. Okay, easy now. Cut the ends off. Oh, that releases them, huh? It's supposed to release them here. Yeah. Is it coming right. out easier? Two, yeah, they're coming right out. Great. Like yeah. that one hard, right? Here. So go ahead and cut. You pull on, if you grab whatever you want, I'll cut. Okay. Easy right. now. Go ahead, I got these here. You're coming right out, guys. So cut in the end. They still don't feel good, but they're coming out. You can feel they're coming out a lot easier. Easy, sir. Okay, just a second now. One is good, good. Yep. This one. There we go. That's good. Good job, buddy. Such a good boy. Here, just a, let me let me grab him first so we don't, cause that'll cut. Just cut right through his lip too. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, All right, everybody that you're dealing with this at home. You know, we don't have a vet that's close here, so this is one of those deals that if we can help him through this, we're gonna get the majority of these out because the longer he's got them in, the more he keeps breaking off. And when he breaks those off, yeah. And I don't know if that came out too much easier, but we'll keep we may, trying here. We may, need to, we may need to cut it before we put pressure on it. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Good job, buddy. Let's get these out here. I want to get these out of his mouth. Easy now. He's got a lot up here around his teeth. Uh -huh. Try and pull them one at a time. Good boy. Oh, get these right here. Okay. Good boy. Right, okay. easy. easy. Now what I've got, a lot of times, uh, we even talked about this beforehand. It's like, oh, I've only seen porcupine like once. We're gonna get one of the porcupine jigs. It's definitely gonna be in the kit now. That would be essentially a dowel that we can kind of put back here. But we'd have to get some of these out before we can even do that. Let's try and get that one cut off there. Good, all right. I've got my thumbs back here, kind of toward the back of his mouth to kind of help keep his mouth open so that we can get to these. Wow. Got them all up here in the top. As soon as he locked up on point and nothing came out, I was like, I bet, I bet we're getting into one. Easy now. Open that mouth, so. Yeah. All right, stop. You, you let me know if you want me to cook. Stop. Shh. Easy. Let's help him relax a little bit. Are they pulling easier in the in the gum? Or yes, in, they're in pulling. That? The lip ones are hard. They seem like they're good and barbed in there. There's not as much to stick. Let's get these out of the inside of his mouth here, though. Okay, good boy. God dang, he got it good. Easy, Baba. Um, I'm gonna see if we can holler at one of them guys to get us a. We gotta have like a dowel or something here. That would help a lot. Keep his mouth open. Um, can you, you got yep. him on yep. the Yep, I'll hold him just a minute. Let's see what I got. Easy. Hey. Easy now. All right, bud. I know. Relax. 
when we started right away, they start digging right at their face, digging, 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 and starting breaking them off. And, you know, he obviously is not enjoying this, but, ooh, that one was way in there. Holy cow. Buddy, you've got to take it easy on these, on these guys. We're gonna see if we can make a little jig. He doesn't, luckily he doesn't have any in his tongue, but he's got them up here in the roof of his mouth. Those are coming out real easy though. Easy, bub. Easy, bubba. I know, it doesn't feel good. Easy. Goodness. Goodness gracious. I know. Get some of these. All right. We're gonna make sure that we pull each at the right angle to get the whole quill out. Good. You hunt with uh, bird dogs long enough, guys. Everybody's gonna experience this or you're gonna see it firsthand. And what I'm trying to show you is how to be able to work through your dog with it. We've got this, uh, this is a great idea by Tim. We've got this jacket over him, keeping kind of those uh, paws in control. And each one of these we get out, you can tell he's starting to feel much more comfortable. Good. He says, I just want him out of there. I just want him out of there, but Hatch is doing such a good job. Easy, Bubba. Easy, Bubba. Shh. Give him just a little bit of a break here. You got an option there? All right. Put him right over there. Uh, should we yep. jump through his collar? Might need to. Let's give him a second on this and get used to that being there. Sorry. Yeah. Basically, we just got a wooden dowel here. Kind of help keep his mouth open so we can get to it. It's going to take him a second to get used to this. Because he wants it out, but it's going to keep him from breaking any more of these off. Hey, okay, I like it, buddy. Hey, dang, MacGyver. All right, where do our hemostats go? Okay. This, All right, this. good boy. I don't know where the heck I put the scissors. Scissors are here. We need the hemostats. Then, uh, underneath him. Uh, hey there. Hey there. You want to double check and make sure that people can still see what's going on. Just a quick look. Is that right? We're here. We need to move. Okay. Good. All right, that one's cut. So does it's making uh, a big difference? Does the make a difference? Yeah, he's able to keep his mouth open for now. Okay. All right, folks. After we get this done it's going to take a day or two before any of these really start to puss up then we'll be able to take him in and get an x-ray done we'll have to make an appointment and everything all right what do you want me to do with? right now nothing these are coming out easy i just need help holding this holding this head if you want to hold just like this all right you go ahead and pull here i got i got him i got a real good grip on him just try and pull them one at a time they come out a little easier that way good these out of the person's mouth. Hey, we're, give us a minute, please. Sure. You're all right. Good boy. Easy now. Easy now. Shh. Just give him a second. Give him a second. All right. Good. Let's get. Um, I see. You see that one back in the back by his tooth there? Right here. Yep. There, that one wasn't attached even. Good. All right, let's see, is there anything? 
Let's give him a second to relax. Let's evaluate. We got one up by this tooth. You see that one underneath there? Good. There's another one on that gum line. And dang, Hatch, you're being such a good boy. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't think we're gonna cut these. No. At this point, Brett, just give him a second. Yeah. Easy, buddy. Yeah. Jeez, mm. easy. Yeah, they aren't feeling great up there. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Goodness gracious. He heard Modi got into a quill pig. Let me see if I can do better. <laughs> Easy. Okay. You good? Uh -huh. oh. e -b 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 -b. Relax. Good. 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 A little one there. It's a good one to get. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. Come on. All right, relax, relax. Good. Good. Uh, uh, uh. Just a second. Give him a second. Give him okay. a second. Shh. All right. Hey, give us a second, please. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were in there. Easy. Yeah, because he's already broken those off. Yeah, is that what it is? Yep. All right. We'll give him a second and kind of value it. We don't have very many left now. Look at the bottom row. Yep. Let's get him. He's sliding out from underneath me. I just got to readjust him just a little bit. Okay. You can't get up yet. Bubba. So what we're gonna do is let me get just slide it. back. I'm gonna throw the coat back on him. Hold a second. Yeah, I don't want these to get in him from underneath. Oh, yeah. So what we're gonna do is hold up. Mm. Not came undone. Okay. Do I need retie? I don't think so. I think I can hold this here pretty good. Oh gosh, it's good. I may have to go better in that way. He's got one underneath of his tongue there that we gotta get to. Sorry, dude, but I had to get out of this. Okay, I see one right here in the roof of his mouth, right by his teeth. See the little black deal? It's just the tip up there. Just a second, just a second, just a second. Yep, just a second. By the front teeth? Yep. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. That one's not attached, it's to the towards you. The attached one is? Give us just a second, please. Nope. Nope, not yet. Easy. Okay, Bubba. No, 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 no. Now, folks, I don't want him to get up. I want to give him a minute. I want to give him, 
allow him to relax, but I don't want him to get up because as soon as he gets up, he's going to think he can do it again and he's going to oh, fight so hard. Got a few up here in his tongue, under his tongue. Yeah, I can see one at this angle here. Easy. Easy. Just give him a second. Just give him a second. I got it. Just a second. Just a second. You're pushing too much here. Okay. Just a second. Easy, Bob. Let's give him a second to relax. I want to evaluate what we've got left up here. We've got one right here. Got that, that little one. Yep, there's a little bitty one there. You want right here? All right, so I was pushing too far back, slamming the uh, dial too far back in the yes. jaw, you think? Okay. Yes. I didn't realize that would be a thing. Gotcha. All right. Just, just keep him from closing his mouth, but okay. not. We don't want to hyperextend that jaw. Gotcha. Okay, I think that's hair. Uh, whatever it is, and attached. Okay, we got them all out of the roof of the mouth. We got them all. There's one there. We got one here. We got one there. That one, I bet, didn't feel good, buddy. Got a little one there. We got one. One there's... Tongue. That one's not going to feel good, but I believe it's the last one we've got. Is it? I think so. There it is. All right, let's give him a quick look down here. And by quick, I mean very thorough. Okay. Is there some under the tongue? Nope. What I'm doing right now is just feeling through his gums, feeling with my hands. They're going to pick up like right here. I just felt... We got, oh, that is just a whisker. Okay. Your pugs are going off in the bucket. Hello. Okay. There's nothing I'm feeling underneath of his tongue here. Okay. Nothing up here. Nothing is gum lines. Hey, Ethan, what were you saying about a couple of days and you were going to look for what? In a couple of days, what we're going to have to do is take him in and get an x-ray done. And then they'll be able to find those little pockets will start to fester. And then it'll show up on an x-ray whether or not he's got something that really needs to be gotten. Right off the bat, you take him right in now. They're going to get a little closer look, but they aren't going to get much closer look. He's been such a good boy. I mean... Yeah, it feels uncomfortable. They aren't going to get much better of a look than what we're getting at right now. He's relaxed. The only thing we need to do left is get this dowel out of the way, make sure there's nothing further back in there. But I'm not finding... I'm not finding anything else. You ready? Yep. He's fine. Yeah, good boy. All right, let's let him do that a second. Get some of that out of his mouth. So we'll be able to take him into the vet here and... In a couple of days, because it's going to start to fester just a little bit if we miss something or there's something broke off. Because when we first started getting him in from the field, he was pawing and pawing and pawing, and he broke a ton of them off. And that's the thing is, I mean, just in the amount of time that it took us to finish that up for him, yeah, maybe it was just a little uncomfortable, but at the same time, I mean, we would have had to tie him down and everything else, and it would have taken longer to get to the vet clinic than it would just to finish it like we did. So, Ethan, is there any like a, a over-the-counter pain medicine you can give dogs for no not that i know of there's nothing that has to be subscribed in a bit not that i know of now we talked to our vet we got a good relationship with them so i have um four hunt trips just like this i've actually got um some carprofen which we'll give him here and then uh so we have access to that just because you know preemptively we get dogs that get injured or get sore and and say so we've got a really good relationship with our vet so we can get that lined up. And I'd encourage y'all, if you're going on a trip, you know, to, to talk to your local vet and do the same here. Let's go ahead. You see another one? No, I just want to, I thought I saw. I did too. 
on this back edge here. Yeah. You feel it? I think so. Let me look a little closer here. Hmm. Easy. 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 Trying to see if that's, it is attached. Do you see it? Right on his tongue there? On the back? He's right there. there. Yep, grab the, yep, grab the deals. Clear in the back. You're gonna wanna get a hold of it before you start pulling, because otherwise it's right there. The carved ones, nope. Yep, so it's clear in the back. I got him right here. Almost. Just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second. Just get a hold of it. You're good. I think there's two, maybe. I didn't see another. I think that was a dural string. Okay. Just a second. I'm not seeing anything back there. Here. Easy. 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 The only thing I want to see is this. Side of his tongue here. Ah, da, 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 da. Easy, 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 easy. All right, he's got one in his face up high. I just felt it stick me right through here, which means it's probably coming through the bottom, and he already broke it off. That could have been his. Oh, here it is, right here. Right there. You see that? Is that white tip? Easy, bub. You see what I'm talking about, right? I saw it, but I don't know. Right I, there. I got it, yep. Right there. Here. That one's. Nope, 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 right here. I saw, what I thought I saw, I saw black. There you go. There you go, I see yeah. it there, I see it there, yes. Can you see if I can clip it? Holy. So that one was all the way through his face. Mm. Right there, that one was all the way through from the inside. Ow. Oh, so you pulled it. That yep. was the barb part. Mm-hmm. Wow. So this one came all the way through and it was completely buried where you couldn't see it. Which is what? They, I mean, they aren't going to be able to see that either until it starts to fester up a little bit. So we'll make an appointment two days and we'll, uh, that'll be when we're off anyway. We can get him in and get it checked and then from there. Make sure he doesn't have any more. And if they have to go in after something like that that's completely buried, they can do that then. All right, let's take a quick look under his tongue again. All right, easy. Just gonna flip this side up. I see nothing on this side of his tongue. Okay, let's go this side of his tongue here. Easy, Bubba. I'm so close. Nothing clear in the back of his tongue. It's sore. We pulled a couple of those out of the tongue, but no, I think he's good. I'm not seeing anything. There's, uh, there's one, there's right one there. more in the roof of his mouth. Two more, maybe. Yep, two little ones there. These are easy ones to get. Stop, 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 stop. Easy. Easy. Good job. You see that one there? It's, it's pretty deep. I'm gonna do the best I can. Yeah, I can get it from this angle real easy. Where I'm at, I can't even do it.
Just right there. Let's turn in here just a little bit. Well, it's broke off so much now, it won't crack it. Yeah, there wasn't hardly enough to get to there mm-hmm. either. Easy. All right, hold the light on it. Here's the bubble. It's just the, I mean, it's just black, which means it's the very, very tiny tip of it. Is it one of the two there? Yep, one up front. It's barbed, it's not come out like that. Okay. Sure. Grab those seam stitches, yep. In fact, you light up just a little bit, and then you can. You got, got it. it perfect. All right, let's take a closer look here at the jawline. That's There's another two. one. Yep, just a little one. Those are little tiny pieces that'll end up festering out. That wasn't even attached, was it? Nope. All right, that's one spot that I know it'll come out here. Okay. Well, we'll get that appointment made, and hopefully Hatcher. Yeah. That's a hair. Hopefully, Hatch, you'll learn your lesson and we won't get into another one, Bubba. You did a good job. Good job, dude. You did a good job. All right, that's it. That's all we got, folks. All right, Bubba. Good job, Ethan. That's stiff on my legs. All right. What we're gonna be able to do here with this goofball is get him in, get him taken care of in a couple days when those start to fester just a little bit. But it's important to be able to have uh, the right tools, help, and be able to get these things taken care of quick. All right, for your hunting dogs, it's gonna happen. Folks, we appreciate you watching.